Okay, so in today's video, we got to talk about Willie D addressing Stephen A. Smith, threatening him on his podcast. Stephen A. Smith tried to immediately cop out on his podcast, but he did kind of issue out a soft threat to Willie D by saying that, you know, hey, man, I had to do some prayers before I came on because, you know, I was about to get in, yo, you know what? And then Stephen A. Smith was like, yo, you know, I ain't scared of you. And, you know, it's just the way he was kind of addressing it was like Stephen A. Smith wanted some smoke. But at the end of the day, Stephen A. Smith tried to take this little pro-black approach and was like, yo, you know, I would never do what y'all did to me. Why are y'all doing this to me? He was trying to cop please and play this victim card because he was facing a lot of backlash. So I want to play a little bit of the clip of Stephen A. Smith calling out Willie D because it's going to put everything into context in today's video. So let's check out Stephen A. Smith threatening Willie D. Here's a video. Stooge, that's one of the names you called me. You called me a monkey. If you're wondering why I closed my eyes just now, it's because I did a quick prayer and I get in your ass. You see, a lot of times people look and they look at certain people and they think you're supposed to be scared or whatever, you know. And um, it's not whether you can win or lose in a fight. It's not whether you can get harmed or not. It's what you're willing to get harmed for. OK, so that's Stephen A. Smith issuing out a little soft threat. But like I said, he tried to cop out, cop please, like he's like above that. But at the end of the day, you know, Willie D didn't take it that way. He had to address it because, like I said, it seemed like Stephen A. Smith wanted a problem with Willie D. But at the end of the day, he's trying to act like he's above having problems with people like Willie D. So let's check out Willie D response because Willie D went in and addressed it. Let's check out this clip right here. And before I highlight today's video clip, be sure to smack that thumbs up button if you haven't for me already. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Let's check out this video right here. Let's pretend for a moment that that was me. Let's pretend for a moment that I did want you to be scared of me. I know for a fact I would mop the floor up with your ass. I know that for a fact. And I think you know it too. Because I got that get down in me, partner. I got that don't quit in me. I got that don't lose in me. Way too much pride. Way too much. And look, front homie, look. I seen your boxing skills. We seen your boxing skills. Anybody ain't seen it? Look it up right quick, Stevie. Uh, 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 Stephen A. Stephen A. Smith boxing or something like that. Stephen A. Smith punching bag or something. And you will see the punching bag was punching him. Boy, I don't know a left hook from a fish hook. Stephen A. is the type of dude who would hug George Zimmerman and tell black people to stop picking on him. always taking the wrong side just just consistently let me tell you something fam the reason why I I go so hard at Stephen A, even more so than I than I would do a lot of these other people who are out here making asinine statements regarding black society, black people specifically, is because too much is given, much is required. This dude has a huge platform. And that, by default, gives him a lot of influence. A lot of influence. He can, he can literally shape the way people think. 
good or bad. Okay, so that's Willie D addressing Stephen A. Smith, threatening him on his podcast. And yeah, man, Willie D, he had went off on Stephen A. And a lot of people have been agreeing with Willie D on this topic so far. Even Stephen A. Smith, his own audience has been calling him out because, yeah, man, people just see right through the BS. And yeah, man, I did a video on this topic yesterday and I said Stephen A. Smith's biggest issue is that he wants to be accepted by white media. Because the only reason why he did that video about OJ, he said it. He started off like, yo, these white major blogs are talking about us. This makes us look bad. USA Today, ABC, NBC, TMZ, they're reporting on this. And this makes us look bad as a community, like as black people. that We can't do no better than this. Like, this is what we want to celebrate. This sets us back. That's pretty much how Stephen A. Smith was talking on this podcast. And when you do something like this. You got folks outside the community, see, see that, see that shit? TMZ talking about it, NBC talking about it, CNBC talking about it, CBS talking about it, USA Today talking about it, PBS, everybody but PBS. When that kind of stuff happens, how do you think that benefits us? And that's a story that we don't get into nearly as much as we should. Did, ever, did it ever occur to anybody to remind yourself of the responsibility we have? I'm not blaming any of the folks there in the audience. They didn't know. And even though BET is owned by Paramount, it's still BET. Black folks everywhere, all up in there. And that's what we celebrate. We, as a community, are going to be held accountable for that. Yeah, and that was the issue. You know, if you had an issue with BET, honoring OJ, he could have just kept it at he had an issue with it and then just talk about the topic at large. But no, Stephen A. Smith immediately started off by saying, you know, these white outlets covering this, talking about us makes us look bad. And I feel like that's again, he's talking down to his people and he acting like he's like the guy that speaks up. For his people and that's not the case at all and that's the problem with Stephen A. Smith he is not the voice of reason for black media or black people in general that's it for today's video guys I would love to hear your thoughts and comments about today's video don't forget to check out Willie D's live YouTube channel I'll have everybody links in the video down below so don't forget to hit that like button if you made this far in the video don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well like share comment and subscribe for more self-taught videos and we out guys peace